Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and you know what we're talking about. We got to talk about the Steam Deck Valve's portable Steam console. You can't really call it a console. It's generally just a portable PC. That's how they're looking at it. And I am quite impressed. Now, let's go over some specifics. So the base model will be $399. Then that version will have a 64 gigabyte eMMC. Then you can go up to $529 and that'll have a 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD and then $649 will get you a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. It will also support a micro SD card so that is an option as well if you want to add additional storage with the base model or even with the uh, secondary and tertiary options there. Portability meets power. We partnered with AMD to create Steam Deck's uh, custom APU optimized for handheld gaming. It is a Zen 2 plus RDNA 2 powerhouse delivering more than enough performance to run the latest AAA games in a very power efficient envelope. And when they say the latest AAA games, yeah, they're going to run the latest AAA games on here. Uh, IGN has a video and they showcase Death Stranding, Control, and a couple of other games. Doom Eternal running on the uh, Steam Deck pretty well. And the reason they can do that is because it's running at a 1280 by 720 resolution. So the 7 inch screen that's on the Steam Deck, it's a 1280 by 800 uh, screen resolution wise and you're probably gonna be playing at 1280 by 720 or 1280 by 800 whatever um that's not a very high resolution at all if you're playing games at 1920 by 1080 or 2560 by 1440 yeah things get a little dicey to run on pc with uh you needing better hardware and you might be wondering how can this machine run games well it's because it's on a 720p display but a 720p display is fine because it's a seven inch screen that's not going to be a problem at all the games are still going to look crisp on the portable device. So that's quite nice, and if you're running games like, uh, you know, your Controls and your Doom Eternals of the world, that's pretty good, and that's probably going to paint a positive picture going forward. Obviously, games are going to get more and more demanding, so how long is this going to last? We don't really know, but there's already a bevy of games for you to play on Steam, so this is going to be able to play a lot of them, and it's your Steam library. It's going to be accessible, your Steam library, anywhere you want. Once you've logged into Steam Deck, your entire Steam library shows up just like any other PC. You'll be able to find them uh your collections and favorites exactly where you left off control with comfort as well now the actual layout is kind of interesting where the two thumbsticks are across from one another i'm kind of used to how the xbox controller does it where you have one on the top left and one on the bottom right i'm literally holding the xbox controller right now and yeah looking at the steam deck having it like right next to the screen up top that's a little bit jarring to me but seemingly from IGN's video the person that was doing that video said it was very comfortable so I have high expectations for this you've also got a trackpad for obviously mouse specific games and it looks like that's gonna be a nice way to play you know mouse centric games if you want to play like an FPS with the uh with different controls or whatever the case may be but $400 for it is kind of pricey, but for what you're getting, it is pretty good because at the end of the day, this is a PC. You can look at it as a portable PC. It's going to come booted up with a custom version of Steam OS, so that's what you're going to have on there, but you can install whatever operating system you want on there if you do want to, you know, format it and treat it as a brand new PC. You can do that. You can plug it into a monitor or an external display and you can play games that way. Obviously, if you connect to an external display and you're using this machine to run games at 1080p, well, that's going to be a little difficult with the higher end game. So keep that in mind. This is going to be mostly, I think most people are going to see it as a portable centric device, but also the idea of running emulators on there, that should be pretty cool. It's going to be a machine that I think a lot of people are super into. Reservations go live tomorrow, July 16th. 16, 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern. Again, $400 for the base model, $529 for the 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD model with a carrying case and exclusive Steam community profile, and a $649 for the 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD, which is like kind of that's wild. That that's a little bit too pricey to me for you know 512 gigabyte NVMe, but we'll see. I probably am gonna end up pre-ordering one, and if you do pre-order one, you have 30 days to cancel your pre-order to 
get your money back from wherever you paid it. After the 30 days, if you cancel your order, you'll be refunded via the Steam wallet. So bear that in mind if you're looking to pre-order this, but you're kind of on the fence on whether or not you're going to keep it. You have 30 days to really make up your mind. And then if you cancel after the 30 days, you are going to not get a true refund. You're going to get it directly to your Steam wallet. But I'm super excited for this. I mean, if you're just looking to play games like, you know, your Hades of the world and... You know, there's just such a gravitas of games available on Steam, and even if you're not playing the super, super high-end stuff, and this can play the higher-end stuff, you know, having a machine that I can take on the go, play like a Final Fantasy 15, Final Fantasy 13, all these games I could just play on the go, that is pretty cool, and just having all my Steam games accessible, it's not like I have to buy another uh, copy of these games or anything like that, so that's really nice, like, I like having games on my Nintendo Switch, like an Ori, for example, but... You know, rebuying those games kind of is lame. You know, I'm not trying to spend that money, but having all of these games from my PC library available on the go, that is pretty awesome. Sleeping Dogs, I can play that on the go. Dead Stranding, uh, Tokyo Xanadu, Legend, Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel, Persona 5 Strikers, I can go on and on. Literally just looking through my li uh, library right now, but Civilization, Mo Astray, Ease, uh, Witcher 3, Horizon Zero Dawn. Like, being able to play Horizon on the go, that's going to be pretty fun freaking cool so i'm excited for this it is out this december i'm gonna try to get a pre-order in tomorrow i imagine they're gonna go pretty fast so if you do want one uh you should probably get on that thankfully they did add something where if you um for the first wave of pre-orders i believe you have to have a steam account that made a purchase uh before june so that is going to circumvent a lot of scalpers or anything like that so that is quite a nice thing that valve has added in but that's gonna wrap it up for me let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace